Hey everyone, I'm Jordan, and this is my first official vlog for the 30 Day Paleo Challenge. They gave us some questions to answer, so I'm going to get right into that. The first question being, what brought you here? And for me, basically, I'm an athlete, but I'm also a junk food junkie. And like any good junkie, I have found ways to continue to include these crappy foods, these sugary foods, these foods that contain grains in my diet and still basically function and look like an athlete but I know eating these crappy foods is damaging my body and most importantly I know that I'm not enabling myself to perform at my fullest capacity so I know that having the support of this program and also the accountability of this program will kind of help me force me to eat clean for a long enough period of time that I know at the end of it I'll have reduced cravings and it'll be easier to continue to eat that clean once I'm once I'm done with the challenge so the second question is what do you hope to get out of the challenge and so like I just mentioned I hope to be able to eat clean more consistently and also um, about a year ago, I found out that I was slightly predisposed to a couple conditions that led me to uh, decide to get off of birth control or oral contraceptives. And as soon as I did that, my skin quality took a nosedive. I have bags under my eyes. I am breaking out even though I'm 32 years old. Um, basically, just a very huge noticeable difference and I'm hoping that kind of tweaking my diet, cleaning up my diet will help clear up my skin. Um, also, I have issues with sleeping. I can fall asleep easily, but I wake up a lot throughout the night. Um, I have a hard time getting more than six or seven at the most hours of sleep a night. Even if I have all the time in the world to sleep, I I have a lot of um, symptoms of adrenal fatigue, and so I'm hoping that um, this paleo challenge will help me improve my sleep quality. And lastly, I have a mysterious bald spot, and I think you can see it here. And it's just this random bald spot that appeared about a year ago, and I don't know what it is, it's most likely something called alcopecia aureta, which is basically a technical term for mysterious bald spot. And I've gotten some autoimmune tests done. They all came back negative. It honestly, I don't, it doesn't bother me and I don't notice it. You know, I'm fine with it as long as it doesn't like reappear on the top of my head. But it is a little worrisome and, you know, nutrition and the science of nutrition is still in its infancy. But... I do know that if you want to change something physically or medically about yourself, the first and most effective route is through the foods that you put in your body. So if my hair wants to spontaneously start growing back in that spot because I'm eating clean again, um, that would be great as well. So the next question is, what are you nervous about? Um... I'm not too nervous. Like I said, I've done these types of elimination diets before. I have cut weight lots of times for fights, which is similar to eating very clean for a month or two at a time. Um, I will say that I've got a lot on my plate right now. So I have a 30 hours of yoga practice challenge this month, and I just started working a second job um, I've got a shoulder surgery that I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for and have and some personal th things going on. I've just got a lot going on. So I, I do have a little bit of apprehension just about this becoming difficult just because I'm so spread thin in all other areas. But I know myself really well and I kind of have this sick love of making things harder on myself. So this will be a stressful month, but... I usually perform well under pressure, and I'm more than anything else looking forward to this challenge and all the support that I'm going to get through the program, and I anticipate 
feeling fantastic after it's all said and done. Um, it said, is there any new recipes or food? Luckily, I have a pretty good plethora of things that I can cook that are clean, that are paleo um, acceptable. Uh, I did try something new today, however. I took some plantains and pan sauteed them in coconut oil and dipped them in guacamole, which is basically just mashed up avocados and some salt. And it was a uh, snack recipe that I got from the meal generator and it sounds incredibly bland but it was actually really good and the plantains were good and ripe and brown so they tasted very sweet and it was good and I'll, I'll eat it again and then the last question is what's your plan moving forward and basically I feel like I've already said it just to tweak my diet clean up my diet and having the support and also the accountability of this program I feel very confident that I'll be able to do so and when it's all said and done you know the reduced cravings and hopefully all the positive rewards from having done this for 30 days will just make it easier for me to continue in the future um, so that's it that's my first vlog and there will be several more um, Tonight is going to be interesting. I'm going out to dinner with some friends and I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to eat before and not eat at dinner or just order sashimi or what, but I'll either blog or vlog about that later. See you guys.